All right, first video, flare gun for self-defense? Buddy, flare guns ain't used for self-defense. They're to let someone know if you're stranded on the night under an airplane and about to die, you need help. You're not about to walk up to someone in self-defense, shoot them with a flare gun. You're not shooting the inside of their mouth. It's not going to burn them. Like, it's going to hit them, yeah, it might cause a fire. But still, for self-defense, that is a stupid idea in this time. Everybody, today we are back with the flare gun. And we have probably the coolest target ever that we're going to... Oh my god. Bro, okay, first off, he's got a flare gun. And flare guns cause fire. And guess what he's next to? What, what is this right behind him that I'm looking at? That clearly won't start a fire, you know? Yeah, let's just shoot a flare gun on a human torso. And it's just not gonna do anything. Obviously, bro. Around, But last summer, we did a flare gun video. It was awesome. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And right after we made that video, coincidentally, someone in my family was doing work for an older couple's business. And they got to talking about guns, self-defense, as you naturally do. And the older woman opened her purse and pulled out a flare gun and said, this is what she actually carries for self-defense. And unfortunately, I'm not kidding. So in that first video, we kind of joked around about it, but I never imagined in a million years. Buddy, if I'm a person, you know, an actual human being, I'm carrying a gun. Yet you know something the average person carries or a pocket knife or pepper spray or something that makes sense, not a flare gun. Where is the idea of I'm trapped on an island or I'm trapped in the ocean? Help me, flare gun. Please, will someone see this because I just need help? Because I'm clearly needing help instead because uh, I can't do anything against animals in the ocean, you know? And for self-defense, not to mention the condition that it was in in her purse. Was it loaded, hammer cocked? I don't want to know. Seems kind of crazy to me, but today we're going to put this to the test and see what would happen if you actually used a flare gun for self-defense. Now keep in mind, flare guns essentially shoot flaming balls and you should never use one improperly. We do have fire extinguishers and we're going to be very safe about making this video, but I would suggest you don't try this at home. So of course, the number one concern when using a flare gun for self-defense would be accidentally starting a fire. So next up, we're going to do the house fire test. In this cardboard box, I have seven... This is a stupid idea. I don't care if you got fire ex I don't care if you got a thousand fire extinguishers. You're in the middle of what looks like dead wooden trees that are not that good in the fall with cardboard too. You're with all flammable things. You I don't know what I, I, I don't know what's about to happen, but this does not look good. Household items. We have some curtains, towels, I've got some carpet down there. All stuff that you would find in most people's homes. And I want to see, if you used a flare gun in a home defense situation, would you accidentally burn your own house down? Let's find out. So I'm not oh, oh, yeah, here. Let me accidentally hit someone with my flare gun in my house. Yeah, that's, that's not going to start a fire. No, no, no. Especially if I have a gas oven. No, that's not going to start a fire. I'll be fine. You know, my house would be on fire. I'm burning to death because my skin is melting off. Y you know, I'll be fine. I'll just get in the bathtub with a bunch of water and then I'll be okay. Because the water is going to burn out the fire, bro. I'll, I'll be okay, you know? Yeah, that easy, man. Surely it will be. Cardboard box, but I'm going to try this way first and see what happens. Just aiming right for the side of it. It went through. <laughs> Well, no, die went through. Now your cardboard box is on fire. And guess where your cardboard box is? It's on wood. And look where the wood is. You, I don't, dude. You are just trying to get yourself killed. Like, this isn't even, this isn't even like to test. This is just to be stupid. And I think our stuff's on fire. <laughs> It, it looks like a flare gun would absolutely set your house on fire. <laughs> well, 
no, duh, buddy. Of course it's gonna set your house on fire. Your house made of wood, it's gone. That's not gonna survive. Your house made out of brick, you still got stuff that's flammable inside. Your house made out of whatever it is, I don't know. Still gonna catch on fire. <laughs> so just to give you some context, I was aiming at the railroad tie underneath the cardboard box, and look how high up it went. It's probably 10 inches up from where I was actually aiming, which was basically at the ground underneath it. So if you're dumb enough to use a flare gun for home defense, keep that in mind. You have to aim low because they impact like 12 inches high. Now, another obvious disadvantage to using a flare gun, aside from burning your entire neighborhood down, is capacity. Most semi-automatic handguns or rifles hold anywhere from 10 to 30 rounds in a magazine, whereas a flare gun holds one flare. So God forbid anyone ever used one of these, I want to see how long it would take if you actually had to reload this thing. So I've got an empty flare in the tube and an empty in my hand i'm gonna oh here how long it would take to reload symbol so in fortnite terms if we get the flare gun from chapter 2 season 3 and we put that into context it takes approximately 2.2 seconds to quickly reload a flare gun if you're fast enough there you can see how long it takes and it's got this little safety that you have to depress to cock the hammer so probably gonna take a while let's see I don't think that was good. Well, that was probably as fast as I could get it, and that still felt terrible. Not exactly a tool built for speed. Well, now we know this thing will definitely start a fire, but will it start clothing on fire? That could be the only advantage. Will it start clothing on fire? Uh, no, I don't know. Clearly it won't, bro, because clothing just can't catch on fire. We just definitely didn't see a box filled with clothing and curtains and all towels and carpets clearly not just catch on fire if it's made of cotton it's catching on fire 95 percent of clothes are cotton it's gonna catch on fire dude like this is just common sense gun for self-defense so we have a t-shirt on our cardboard box we're gonna hit it with the flare gun and see if it would engulf the bad guy in a ball of flames <laughs> let's do it it was at this moment that he knew he f oh wow oh wow what happened buddy i told you nah i literally said this has happened you're gonna light the ground on fire and then that's gonna start a fire dude what did i say nah bro don't tell me i'm wrong because you decided to be dumb and do this in the middle of nowhere in montana <laughs> So after watching the replay, it actually looks like that one bounced off the ground into the shirt. It's very inconsistent where these things hit because that one went really low. There we go. And now what did I say? I said it would catch on fire. Why? It's clothing. It's g You don't have the type of clothes to reflect fire, bro. Like, I don't know what kind of common sense you got, but this is pretty clear common sense. Yes, it's going to catch on fire, bro. Like, dude. There we go. <laughs> that worked. Now that one definitely did some more damage to our t-shirt. So if you hit it just right and you can get it to sit there for a second, it will burn clothing, but most likely it's just gonna bounce off. Now, before we go down and do the ultimate final test, a lot of you might not know that these are 12 gauge flares, which means they'll fit in a shotgun. And if I remember correctly, they should penetrate a watermelon. What is the point of showing this? Congrats, a shotgun can shoot a watermelon. No more shotgun shells can blow up a watermelon. The shells are gonna be more effective than the flare. 
Like, and here we are. So this is a ballistic dummy lab human torso. One of the most realistic things you can get to test how guns would perform in self-defense scenarios. As you can see, we've been shooting this thing a little bit today. But okay, here's my prediction. It's gonna bounce off. That looks like it's made of jello, man. That's gonna bounce off and then hit the ground again. Because of the way it's structurally made, I don't think unless you somehow just shoot it at the wood, it's not going to catch on fire. Like, maybe it'll bounce off, maybe it'll start a fire because of the after effects and sparks, but I mean, overall, I don't think it's going to do anything. Other ...videos to go ahead and test the flare gun. So it looks like it's super jacked up, but there's actually still a lot of it that's completely undamaged and untouched. So I'll probably just hit it point blank range with the flare gun and see what happens. By the way... I do have a fire extinguisher right by my feet, just in case I have to run and put out a fire. I really don't know what to expect. I don't think the flare is going to have enough on it to actually make it in that thing, but I could be wrong. Please don't bounce back at me. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Well, I mean, to be fair, you already damaged it earlier, though. So, actually, no, there's no point to the... If you already damaged it earlier, what's the point of doing this? It's already damaged, to, so it's going to be more open. It's going to be more bruised. It's going to be more ready to be hit. What, dude? Why? Why would you even do that? There's no point. Hope you guys can see that it's still lit you see that little ember right there or whatever you want to call it it's actually glowing from where that flare is still burning in there and it's smoking it worked that is unbelievable you can see the entrance hole right there it obviously did some more damage and okay bro i can't like there's no like, I get the idea, like, to show that a flare gun cannot be, should not be used for self-defense, because that's a stupid idea. The fact that you already damaged it earlier before you even shot it just makes no sense to why would you do that. That's stupid and make, like, what was the point of doing that? To make it weaker so you can make it look better? Like, dude, I'm, I'm done, bro. Good, bad video, nah, bad.